Mr. Miles Norris is a junior basketball player at Helix High, soon to be a senior. He's ranked as the 21st best basketball prospect in the nation. In just a few short moments, he will make his college decision known live on KUSI, or if you're watching around the world, KUSI.com. So I suspect a lot of people are tuned into this, Miles. <laughs> Are you excited to get this off your shoulders? Oh yeah, I'm very excited. It's, it's, it'll be a relief. What's it like being a five-star recruit? Um, it's a lot of fun. It's, you got a lot of expectations, but um, it's a lot of fun. Everyone likes to come out and watch you play, so I, I try to put on the show. More fun time. than pain in the butt? Yeah. Uh, let's talk a little bit about who's been your... Uh, first of all, how many people know the, 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 the school you're about to say that's about to come out of your mouth? How many people actually know right now? Does the school know? Well, yeah, I talked to, to the school, but uh, some of my teammates, my teammates on uh, Helix, and then my parents. So about 20, 25? Probably less than that. Okay. Yeah. So uh, let's throw up this graphic right here. Is it, I'm just, you know, my uh, research department says it's going to be one of these five schools. Can you confirm that? Oh, yeah. All right, of these five schools, how many have you, I, obviously you've been to San Diego State, so you know that one well. Have you been to all other four campuses? Um, no, actually I haven't been to Gonzaga, but I've been to Arizona, Oregon, and UCLA. Okay, so is it safe to say Gonzaga is out of the, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, first of all, you, you know, this is a big decision. Uh -huh. uh, you know, we have some video of you playing for uh, Helix High this year. You guys went all the way to Sacramento, came uh -huh. within a whisker of winning the state, uh, state title. Yeah. You won 20 straight games. This is not the first big decision you made. You left modern day to come to Helix and mm -hmm. had to sit out a big chunk of the year. Then once, once you started playing, Helix started winning. Can you talk about that decision a little bit? Uh, it worked out well for you. It worked out well for Helix. Uh, it was most like a family decision. My parents feel like it was a better fit for me and my brother. My older brother, he, he went there and graduated, so they felt good about the school. And it certainly uh, worked out well. Uh, I assume the phone was ringing all season long. Are, are, they, how, <laughs> yeah. how, how, are coaches allowed to pester you all year? Yeah, like every day. It's calling me, texting me every day. All right, well, are you ready? Oh, yeah. Okay, hang on. Can we start the drum roll, please? This is your decision camera. Look into that. Make the biggest <laughs> decision of your young life. Well, first of all, I'd like to thank God for blessing me with all the opportunities and the gifts that he's given me, as well as thanking my parents, my coaches, my trainers that helped me become the athlete and the man, young man that I am today. But um, I've decided to further my education and my basketball career at the University of Oregon. <laughs> we should mention there is a duck contingent in here. Okay, well, we, for the obvious question, why? Um, since the first time I went there, well, I've been there once. I went on my unofficial visit there. I had a great time. I had a lot of fun. Um, it, it was felt like a great fit for me. Um, outside of basketball, I just love this, the student atmosphere and the fan atmosphere that they have there. Facilities are amazing. It's something that I've never seen before. And basketball-wise, I, I love their style of play. They have a pipeline in the San Diego athletes. The fact that so many young football players, so many basketball players, they know how to recruit San Diego, do they not? Oh, yeah, definitely. Tell us about, I, I'm told that they know exactly what an 18, 17-year-old kid wants, and that whole recruiting experience is they are so dialed in to tripping your guy's trigger. That <laughs> What is the thing that stood out in their, uh, in their uh, recruiting process that just grabbed you immediately? Um, the uniforms? Their uniforms and their facility, <laughs> their gear and their facilities. When I got there, I didn't think their facilities were going to be that amazing, but... I heard people that have been there before, they told me that they were crazy, but I didn't believe them like that. But when I got there, it was just eye-opening. I know a lot of people on the Mesa were hoping that you would be the kid, the star athlete that stays, ho stays home and, and helps lift the uh, Aztecs into the next stratosphere. Uh, did Coach Fisher's decision affect your decision? Uh, a little bit, it kind of affected it. I've, I would like to play under Coach Fisher, but Coach Dutch, he's, he's also a great coach. But um, I think... Getting out of San Diego with, um, like... Big part of the college experience, Yeah, right? more distractions and stuff back here in San Diego. Since it's home, I, I think I would be able to focus better if I went off somewhere else for college. You know, part of... We've seen so many kids go on make that are blue chippers like yourself. They make the decision, and then two years later, they're playing in the NBA. Is your intention to get to the bigs as quickly as possible, or do you hope to play and maybe see your junior, senior season at Oregon? Um, I'm not sure. I'm just going to see how it goes. It's 
see how it plays out. But that's my that's my plan. I, I like to get be a professional athlete as fast as quick as possible. What, what do you intend to study at Oregon? Uh, I'm not sure yet. I'm still Basketball. thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so quickly, uh, what what adult who had the biggest influence as far as an advisors? Who, who do you uh, who was your turn to person? Uh, both of my parents, my mom and my dad. I talked. Talk to my mom a lot about college. Talk to my dad a lot about college, as well as my um, AAU coach. He influences me a lot. He he's behind me. He's he has my back. But uh, most of my parents influence me the most. Well, Miles, can I tell you your class act for uh, doing this on KUSI? You said you would, and sure enough, yeah. you did. Mm -hmm. Miles Norris is an Oregon Duck to bleed.